Hello, everybody, and welcome to the rest of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time we went through and got in, went through uh, Corel Prison and uh, fought against Dine. In this episode, we're heading into Gungaga. The Gungaga. <laughs> Anyways, let's head inside. Again, I am bringing. Uh... Oh, pressed the wrong button. Oh, there we are. I am bringing Red 13 Aerith with because I want to. But yeah, as you head inside, there's someone there. Red on Rude. Hey Rude, who do you like? What are you getting so what are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm? That's a tough one. But poor Elena, she you No, she likes Seng. Never knew that. But Seng likes that ancient. What? What are they talking about? It's so stupid. Ugh. They always talk about who they like and don't like, but saying is different. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> They're here! They're really here! Hmm. Then it's time. Root, don't go easy on them, even though they're girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sang. I wonder if Tifa would have something unique to say if she was there to be like, what the frick? <laughs> what the heck are they talking about? It's been a while. Payback time for you did in Sector 7. Sector 7? That's that sad. That's as far as you go. Now it's Reno! So, Reno is fairly strong, but we have new moves that can make this fight much easier. So, focus your attacks on Reno. So, depending on the Turk you kill first, you get a different item. If you kill Rude first, you get an X potion. If you kill Reno, you get that new weapon he wants to show you. A weapon for t for Aerith. So kill Root, uh, Reno first. Uh, EX skill. Ow, Turk light. Ow, my lord! Okay. <laughs> Uh, ice to Reno. I wonder if I can ace that one. Uh, the e uh, Reno has 2,000 HP. Root has 1,200. Just to let you know. Uh, you use White Wind. I actually probably, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Frog you! Did it work? No. Oh, it sleeps in! Okay, the cloud limb break. Clim Hazard! Hoot! Tuh! Yeah! Ooh, 1000! We may be treating, but. We're still victorious! We got read. Uh, you can shoot summons. Oh, I forgot to summon. I forgot to get a summon back at the cast bell. Oh no, I forgot the freaking Ramu summon! No! No! Can you enter the jockey room? They're definitely waiting for us. Give me a moment. Frick! They're permanently missable! No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, looks like it's not 100%. Frick it! Oh, well, well, it was never. Well, now I know for now! Well, it just cast Judgment Bolt. I would have liked to show it. I would have liked to show it. But freaking, why is it so missable? Well, it's only in the Jokobo Jockey Room. It's only there. Why is it only there? Ah! <laughs> Interesting. They're definitely waiting for us. 
followed us. If there weren't any signs of it, then that maybe means that there's a shitter spy. I don't even want to think that there's a spy. I trust everybody, even you, Kate Sith, who just walked up to us for the fortune. Anyways. So, what's equipped fairy, the fairy tale on Tifa, uh, Aerith? Is that better than what you have? Uh, yes, it is. Holy freaking cr- Holy- Holy sick Aerith- Slots! Anyways. Let's give you some more magic. Oh my. Uh, get rid of the- Get the restore. There we are. Okay, head to the northeast. That's the destroyed reactor called the Meltdown. So we're in Chernobyl. Don't pick up any rocks! You will die. Oh, hello there, Tyrannosaur, a heavy tank. Uh, use Toad. Uh, well, it worked. Ow. I want to fight some of the enemies in here. Please hit me. Uh, hit Aerith. Please. Thank you. Hit Aerith again. Please, I need I need her to gain limits. It's a pretty good enemy to do it. Okay. Cloud? Please stop blocking. Okay. Oh. Drop the earth. More limits. I'm so mad I missed that materia. I'm really freaking mad. Okay. A ruined reactor? And a helicopter. Scarlet, head of the Shinra Weapons Development. Scarlet, head of the Weapons... Uh, why are they walking around this? Okay. Hmm, this isn't any good either. You only get junky material from junky reactors. This reactor's a failure. What I'm looking for is a lot big, large, huge materia. You see any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get right on it right away. Please, we can make the ultimate weapon if only you had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, the weapons development is getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I bet Heidegger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Let's big, large, huge materia. Weapon, the perfect weapon. Just what are the Shinra up to? And we search where she was searching in something shiny back here. Reach for it to get the Titan materia. New summon! Place your Shiva summon right now. For Titan. Just show it off. Dur it just uses Earthquake. I would have referred it to Shoramu, but I can't! Anyways. Sorry. Anyways. I'm really feeling about that, by the way. I'm gonna use Titan. Why is it permanently missable? In anger of the land.
Why are there permanent missile things in the first place? Oh well, uh, happy and fun being flat. Oh, that was not worth it. That was not worth it. Well, that was critical. Hey, go to the area and get a bunch of kills. Anyways, travel south of the fork of the road and then head left. Fighting. That's crit. Head this way for a materia. Oh, hello, frogs. Ouch. Well, they on oh, plasma frog. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Just burn them. Destroy that one with Ifrit. Burn them. Here for a death blow materia. What does that do? Clips death blow command. Oh, that's a lot. Hmm. Take off sight and death blow. Should take the path leading northward. This is Gongaga Village. Me, Gongaga. Mm. Three years ago when the reactor exploded, my husband. Oh, you two really need reactions to live? Aren't things more important? The more important things in life? No matter how much you pray, it won't bring your grandson back. This is why I brought Aerith, by the way. A ruined reactor. Anyways. Over here. You're a traveler! Hey, wait! That glare in your eye! You would soldier? Oh, you're right! Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack! He's been close to ten years since he left the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You have to hear. You ever hear of Zack and Soldier? Hmm. I don't know. Zack! Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote six or seven years ago saying he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? Huh. That can't. Oh. Aerith! Have you guys met someone in Soldier named Zack? I can't believe he hasn't caught us in ten years. After all, we're his parents. I wonder why. I wonder where that Zack fellow is. Anyways, we can see Aerith there. Are right, you here to shop? We can buy items. Uh. High potions, cornucopias, tranquilizers. Nothing new. Okay, is this cutscene still there? Okay, yep, yes, yes. Alright, let's talk to Aerith. Aerith. What a shock! I didn't know Zarek Zach was from this town. I know Zach was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. <sighs> Zach, soldier first class. Same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't many who make first class, but I never heard of him. That's all right. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because he's I heard he's been missing. Missing? I think it was five years ago. He went out on a job and never came back. He loved women. A real ladies' man. Probably found he probably found someone else. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, jealous, envious. Are you jealous? Hmm. <laughs> Are you, Cloud? I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Let's go, Cloud. But yeah. Anyways, let's hear the story of this guy. 
You got a shop, you got a story. One day there's a huge explosion. Many townspeople die in it. That's a, the end. That's a crappy story. Anyway, so... She used to date Zack. Huh. Hmm, did you want something? Buy accessories. This place sells new accessories, including the headband, the silver glasses, the star pendant, the talisman, and the white cape, the fury ring, the mystify materia, and the time materia, and the heal materia. The transform materia. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we have transformed that. Time and Mystify we don't have. We don't have a Fury Ring. No, fine. We don't really need Fury Rings. They like being in control. Uh, Talisman. We could use another one of those. Okay. Sleep, Darkness, and Poison. We have better ones later. Okay, we can get that to Red 13 at least. I'll boost his magic by a lot. Oh yeah, that's not the end of it. There's a pole in here, to the left over here. Climb it. To access the weapon shop. We already have most of these weapons from stealing, but hey, it's cool. You want something? Your story. Shouldn't have built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety, and this is the result. Very depressing town in Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. Anyways... <laughs> Hard edge, okay. Uh, the atomic scissors, we already have. We already have that. We already have that. We already have that. We ha we do not have impalers. You don't want to a frog? Okay, shrivels, molotovs. We don't need those. Anyways. Molotovs could be useful for some people who can't use magic. You can just throw uh, molotovs at enemies. You know. As it does lower their stats. Mm hmm. Comes over here is an X potion. Uh, need something? Your story. It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find peace fiddle left over town. Three to kill night. Yep. We need it actually. Head inside. Uh. Oh yeah. It's the northernmost hut over here. Looks so like the most one intact. Which has another chest in it for a weapon for Kate Sith, the White Megaphone. This is Gundog Gundoga Village. Many people died here in a Mako reactor explosion. Certain people told us that everyone would be happy when this was built, but what it brought us was sadness. Okay, we need to go by where the floor material is. Head to Cosmo Canyon. I technically don't even have to uh, kill it on sight. Clem Hazard. Very dead. Right now, installing Dynasty Warriors is not in my computer. That's why there's a bit of a lag. <sighs> You're probably wondering why I'm installing a game that's widely regarded as one of the, one of the worst in the series. Well. I don't own it, that's for one. Also, I love Dynasty Warriors, and I like how it go returns back to the, uh... The old way of doing the stories, you know? With each individual character having their own. I always preferred that over how the series went with the... With, what is it called? The, uh... Not the story-based ones, the ones that... Individual story characters, basically. I always liked the, the individual ones. Versus, uh... Versus one giant, uh, plot. I'm trying to explain this poorly. What I'm trying to say is I prefer having individual character stories over a million different, uh... Like, oh, I'm, give me a moment. I'm tired. I, I had a rough day at work. I'm sorry. Uh... Basically, what I'm trying to say 
What I really, really am trying to say is I prefer individual character stories over one with over one route story. There! Finally! Jeez! Jeez, Lord. How many times does it take me to say that? How many times? Three? Four? I wish you could do the hit the hit yourself trick though to get up limit breaks. You know? But no, it doesn't work. Instead, you need to find actual strong enemies. Which can make it really hard to grind up some some. Yeah. Kill these guys, because I know these guys use stone. Got Cloud? There. And Cloud needs to get kills in order to uh, get his level 3 limits. Okay. You head west. Okay, that's some enemies there. We're do that. Those are good for gold. Okay, head across that river. We just exploded multiple trees. I just realized, this thing is as tall as trees. How big is the buggy? It's the size of a freaking town. Anyway, it's a house. Uh. Uh. Be west and drive around the rocky cliff. Oh, hey, hello there, so uh, Sahagans. What do you do? Sand guns. Yes. Okay. Grand limits, please. Please hit. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, it stops. Or blinds. I see. Can you hit the right person, please. Thank you. One more. One more. One more. I, I know what Sangun does. He's not using Sangun. Oh, I see they're, they're immune to non-magic. I see. Okay. What does Death Blow do? Okay, it's just an instant kill. Oof. Just kill him with Death Blow. Boom! Okay, you're not that. Hey, for it. I really should give the shield material to you to choke him on. Criteria, you take the Shogamog and give you Shiva or Titan. Give you Titan, actually. Not the same anyway, so. But yeah, after we reach the next area, I'm gonna end the episode. What the heck are you? It's a golem! <laughs> it's a mecha! Actually, this is a really well good way of doing golem. You know, instead of it being a, uh, a, a sandy piece of rock, it's a mech! You know? Why is it moving closer? Why are you moving back over here? Okay, there we are. And there we are. Okay, uh, okay, uh, move here, right, move through here, no, not there, uh, hmm, it's, end. it's a dead end, uh, okay, where, where the heck do I go, okay, there it is, I see, oh, well, there goes the freaking, the buggy, huh, ah, blew up, There it goes. Oh man. Oh man, a breakdown. Now? Yeah, I think they, I know where they want us to go. This is Cosmo Canyon, and that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time, let's play, let's play Final Fantasy VII, where we're we'll heading into the canon. Oh, not canon. Cosmo Canyon, and continuing on with the main quest. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.